I took a week off from YouTube, sort of a bit of a spring break for myself. I was actually off of school for spring break, so I decided to take off from YouTube as well. But of course, of course that week is the week where we get some new news about cars on the road. Last week, three books were revealed, not like revealed, but three books were listed online, I believe, and they feature cross promotions with cars on the road. These books are a new Pixar character encyclopedia, which shows Lightning's new design for the show on the cover, a Cars sticker book, Ultimate Sticker Collection. I had so many of these when I was little, I used to love them. It's, it's, it's pretty nostalgic for me to see a Cars one coming out. I, I might just be tempted to buy it, <laughs> um, which features a new look at Lightning from the show, as well as some other new characters. And the third and final one is a Cars on the Road storybook. Now, we've known about that storybook for a while. I believe that listing's been up for quite a while, but now it has an official cover. We're going to skip over the Pixar character encyclopedia, as it doesn't give us any new information from that cover, aside from Lightning's new look, which is also on the sticker book, where we get a better look at it. And taking a look at this Lightning design, you're going to notice a few things. Up first, it seems heavily inspired by Rusty's Racing Center McQueen in Cars 3. He's a much darker red than usual, just like that paint job, and the 95 on the side is done in the exact same style. It seems like it's once again going to be a foil wrap going around McQueen instead of a traditional paint job. I'd probably assume that his die cast will be metallic, which I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of that, but just going off of how the paint job is done here and how similar it is to Rusty's Racing Center McQueen, who is metallic, I'd assume. This one probably will be. He has a very simplistic design, not even a 95 under or on his headlight, uh, no like secondary sponsor stickers, and most importantly, no Rusty's logos. As you might have noticed, on McQueen's hood, instead of a Rusty's logo, is an image of Radiator Springs' iconic Radiator Cap Mountain. In fact, it even says on the road on his hood. I didn't even realize that. That is really cool and, and kind of meta. But yeah, there's a Radiator Cap Mountain logo on his hood that says RS on the road, which harkens back to a few previous McQueen paint jobs. Of course, you'll probably be reminded of Team RS McQueen, which is the design McQueen had between Cars 2 and Cars 3, which also featured the Radiator Cap Mountain on him, albeit it was on his spoiler there. There's also Road Trip McQueen, who features a Route 66 logo on his hood and is also a metallic design, however, that is based off of Cruisin' and McQueen instead. I love that McQueen has a new design for this series. It actually wasn't really something I was expecting. I just expected him to continue using his Cars 3 design like he had been doing in some other post-Cars 3 series. But I'm glad that we instead got a new design for him. One that gives him a bit of a different identity. One that doesn't have Cars 3 in the name. This is the new McQueen paint job. We'll just have to see what it'll be called officially in merchandise. I'd assume they'll call it On the Road McQueen, not just because of the name of the show, but also because it literally says it on his hood. But what I love most about this McQueen is the fact that he doesn't actually have any racing logos on him. There's not a Rusty's logo on his hood. There's not a Rusty's logo on his spoiler. His sides have nothing on them aside from the 95s. And, of, of course, the lightning bolts. While in his Rusty's Racing Center design, McQueen has the word Rusty's written in the sides of the lightning bolts, that's absent here. McQueen does not have any racing logos on him, and I think that's pretty cool. As of the end of Cars 3, McQueen isn't really racing anymore, and so I think it makes perfect sense for him to no longer have any racing logos on him. And... I'm just really glad that they did that. It's great attention to continuity for the series, and it gives us a very simple but very nice looking sort of streamlined McQueen design. Now let's go a bit more in depth on some of the other parts of the cover of this sticker book. You can see it is the ultimate Cars sticker collection, and I honestly will probably get this and do a review on it, just because why not, right? Over a thousand stickers, includes Cars on the Road, and the cover features several notable Cars characters, Cruz, Jackson, Mater, Guido, and surprisingly Professor Z, who's clearly just here on the cover to show that 
this sticker book encompasses all of the car series. You've got stuff from two, you've got stuff from three, you've got stuff from the first movie, although no characters from the first movie really appear on the cover here, with the exception of like the main Radiator Springs characters, but they're in everything anyway. But yeah, pretty cool to see Professor Z on the cover here. Now remember, this is for the entire car series, not just on the road, so just because Professor Z, or Jackson and Cruz for that matter, are on the cover, doesn't mean they're gonna appear in the show, you know? I definitely wouldn't get my hopes up for, like, Professor Z making a sudden appearance. This cover also features two new characters, this female monster truck pickup truck with a multitude of lights up on her roof there. She's got a total of five roof lights. And this weird little four-wheel pickup truck, I don't really know what his deal is. He's got a very strange look to him. He's a very cool looking car. It seems like he's wearing some sort of hat with like some strange detailing on top, some feathers in the back it seems. He sort of gives me like Robin Hood vibes. I don't know. I don't really know how to describe him, but he seems like he'll definitely be a very interesting character. Maybe somebody working at a park or something like that. As for the monster truck, she actually appears on another piece of merchandise, that being the Cars on the Road four stories in one book, which is the final thing that we have to take a look at today. According to Amazon, this book releases August 2nd, which makes perfect sense. We were told the series would release in late 2022. I assumed probably late summer, like August or September-ish. August 2nd definitely makes sense for some merchandise to be released. I'm sure we'll see some before that, some after that. I'm sure we'll get a release date for the show pretty soon or probably closer to when the show is going to come out. Disney Plus's release dates tend to be announced pretty close to when shows release. Anyway, this book is adapting four episodes of the series, it seems, three of which we already knew about through concept art and other means. These episodes include the Dinosaur Park episode, which we previously saw some images from, or rather one image, from the concept art that they released on Disney Plus Day. It features Lightning and Mater carrying some luggage, which is absent from any of their other designs, being attacked by robotic car dinosaurs in what will be a Jurassic Park parody. As we know, the episode is to be called Dinosaur Park. Much like in Jurassic Park, it seems that a car has decided to recreate dinosaurs and make it a tourist attraction. Here, the dinosaurs are clearly made up of different, like, scrap parts and stuff, which is pretty cool. Certainly a bit far-fetched for the Cars series, but this is the Cars series we're talking about. Come on. What I will say I don't really like about the dinosaur design is the fact that it has regular Cars character eyes, which is something it did not have in the concept art that was revealed. Um, but you can see that the top part where the eyes are are modified from an old car, and that's pretty morbid. Again, if this is somebody putting together these dinosaurs out of junk, like, this could have been a dead car that they reanimated, but hey, it wouldn't be the car series if there weren't incredibly dark undertones, right? I just preferred when the dinosaurs had, like, more robotic-y eyes in that concept art. Uh, Lightning is also missing his logo on his hood, much like he was in that concept art but that might just be a stylistic choice for this drawing because it would be easier to draw him with less detail, I guess. One thing I really like about the dinosaur's design, though, is the fact that instead of the little stubby T-Rex arms, it just has a little wheel array. I think that's hilarious. It's got those two wheels connected by a little axle. I think it's really funny. Uh, featured at the top of the book is the rumored Salt Flats episode, which has been rumored in several sources, including a color changer name that recently leaked that was called Salt Flats. It seems there will also be a new character appearing here, I believe, according to some other rumors. In addition to those rumors, the Mater design for this episode was shown in a piece of artwork on Disney Plus Day, which actually showed a CGI render of it compared to the concept art that was used for all the other stuff. Now, in real life, the Salt Flats are used to test the speed of cars, and here it seems that Mater will be modified, because of course Mater's gonna get modified, to go super fast, as Lightning is in shock at Mater's new look. This definitely seems like a pretty fun and funny premise. The car series loves the concept of Mater racing, or Mater going super fast and having like rockets hooked up to him. Definitely seems like a pretty funny episode. 
On the far right, we have the new monster truck character. She's jumping off a cliff with a pity band underneath her. Not much to say about that. We don't really know anything about this character. And at the bottom, we have Lightning and Mater, accompanied by that monster truck once again, it seems, but now she's painted green and covered in moss. This seems to be the Bigfoot episode that we saw in concept art, where Lightning is being chased by a monster truck that a lot of people assumed was like a car version of Bigfoot. But it just seems like it'll be this monster truck with moss all over her. Maybe she's trying to pull a prank on Lightning and Mater, or Lightning and Mater have teamed up with her to try to prank someone, we have no way of telling. But it's probably that same character, I'd assume. They look way too similar to, you know, not be the same. But how this old moss green paint thing ties in, I'm not too sure. But there you go, guys. That is all the new news on Cars on the Road. Definitely let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Quite a bit to break down. Let me know what you think about Lightning's new paint job about these episode concepts. Are you excited for the show? What do you want to see? Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.